Hello, welcome to Digital Citizenship. This series is for kids who want to be good digital citizens in the online world. Being a good digital citizen means being balanced, being private, being kind, and being alert. I want to start with two important things to tell you. One, this is for kids. Kids, the most important thing for you to know is to ask a trusted adult whenever you have a question or a worry. Two, this is for the adults. Adults, the most important thing for you to know is don't wait for kids to ask you. Use this program as a starting point to talk to them about your expectations when they're online. Okay, let's start. This video is about being balanced. Being balanced means being good to yourself and those around you by balancing screen time with other activities that are good for your body and good for your brain and good for your mood. We all like playing video games or watching TV, using iPads and computers, but how much time do you think is good to be on screens? What do the grown-ups in your life think? Do you think there is a difference between playing a game by yourself, watching a movie with your family, listening to an audiobook, or having a long FaceTime or Zoom chat with friends and family? I think those are different. Have you ever started a game and then looked up and a whole hour had gone by and uh-oh, there's an adult telling you, time's up. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Here's another question. Do you like candy? Yeah, candy's awesome. I know. <laughs> but have you ever found it hard to stop eating candy? Yeah, and you know what happens when you eat too much candy? Oh, tummy ache. Oh. If you do too much screen time, you can feel kind of yucky that way too. Have you ever found it really hard to stop whatever you're doing online, even if there's a grown up right there telling you to? Just like it's hard to stop eating candy, even though you think you've had enough. Mm -hmm. Our brains are wired to want to see or hear a story to the end. That's why when we're reading, we don't stop in the middle of a sentence. We want to read to the end of the sentence or chapter or paragraph or chapter, right? Game designers and video designers know this. And that's why they make levels and scoring because they want you to keep playing. Advertisers want you to keep playing too. So you see more ads because that's how they make money. Screens are deliberately messing with your self-control. That's your ability to control yourself, self-control. Keeping you online is making money for these companies. Self-control is very important in life. Grown-ups have to practice it all the time. As you get older, you need it more and more because there are more things in life that you might not want to do, but you have to do. Sorry, but that's true. <laughs> and screens mess with your self-control, okay? Screens also mess with your sleep. We should all, kids and grown-ups, stop using screens within a few hours of bedtime. Hours, not minutes, hours. Because screens make it really hard for our brains to relax enough to let us fall asleep. Screens can mess with your eyesight, and that is especially important for kids because your eyes are still developing. So enjoy screens. There's lots of awesome stuff to do, but not too much. And it's better if you do it together mm -hmm, with a friend or family. And then after screen time, find a good way to reset yourself, change your mood, move around, look at something different, right? You can play with Legos, go for a walk outside, read a book, see friends. Um, 
yeah, that'll really help. So that's about it. And what I'm going to do is repeat the most important things you need to know from this video. So one, having balanced screen time is very important. Two, kids, if you have a question, ask a trusted adult. Three, adults, do not wait until there is a question. Talk to kids right now about this stuff. Okay? Um, check out the links that I posted in the video description for some more kid-friendly videos about this topic. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.